In this video, I'm going to share with you three things not to do on your first week of running. And then I will share with you some of the documentary that I've documented along the first couple of weeks of training through Snapchat and other, you know, video stuff. Number one thing is to remember, leave your ego at the door. Uh, it's super important to remember to start where you are. And I was reminded of that, just like a freight train coming in, um, just how important it is to leave the ego at the door. I haven't been running for about five years, much less than maybe like 30 feet down the road here and there with my dog. And I'm in really good shape because I've been doing other fitness, you know, I've kept myself in good fitness shape, but not in running shape. So I was reminded quite quickly that I need to slow down and I'm starting at zero. So that means basically it's coach to 5k for me to get started. That way I'll be injury free. So all of those things that I was like, oh, well, I'll be able to like just run in my neighborhood. Like it's a little hilly, but I'll be okay, which leads to number two. When you're first learning to run or first getting back into the run, take the hills out of it. Completely take the hills out of it because that will come later on in the training. So if all, at all possible, find flat areas to drive to and uh, do your your running from those areas because it's it's there's a reason for it. The running activates the calves, and uh, it activates the calves more so when you're running uphill. So it also activates different muscles when you're running uphill, which your body may or may not be ready for. And in my case, my body was definitely not ready for that, which leads me to number three. Don't do weighted calf raises the first week that you're starting your new running program. Be, and then go out the next day and run hills. A lot of other things I did right, like I, I went around and I, I picked up my old classic running room book and I mapped out my year running plan. I ordered my new running shoes and I didn't start like seriously running without my dog until um, I had those shoes on my feet and uh, you know I went out and I got uh, better shoes for work and I brought out my foam roller. I, I started um, activating stretch. I changed my whole workout routine which involves you know more weights and less impact and more flexibility training and the first day there were weighted calf raises i really should have known better but you know what that that was the ego so that goes back to the first so now with some of the recorded documentary here we go i find that running is one of the most humbling sports out there and it's also one of those things that um, if there's no base, you have to create the base. So I've been doing many different athletic things for the past five years. You know, I'm a group fitness trainer and I do all of that stuff, but I haven't been running, like training running. Every once in a while I jog with the dog. Um, so I'm literally starting at ground zero, which means I'm building my base this month and I will be this morning. My very first run is 21 minutes and I will be running or jogging for a minute and walking for a minute because um, my body needs to get used to that forward motion again. And um, I'm not 19 anymore and that's a definitely very humbling experience. So now I need to warm up. So, I'm gonna, so pretty soon I'm gonna have to stop training with my dog and start training on my own but right now like I said before it's the first week and so um, I'm really feeling blessed that there's no snow on the ground so we're jogging for a minute and then walking for two and uh, there's a couple of things about running with your dog there's like what do you do with the 
you know, droppings that they leave behind. And she's a little bit, she's not very young anymore. So in order for me to get the most out of my training, I know I'm just like going for 20 minutes at a time right now, but I'm gonna really need to start focusing on not um, needing to take care of her. So I will be um, walking her separately, but that's where I need to get be disciplined. And when I'm walking with her, I'm walking with her and uh, not adding in any more jogging, which is what I did for the last marathon training. And uh, she doesn't mind slowing down a little bit uh, and not running as much and not going for as longer walks because she she actually appreciates the rest too but this is very much a piece of her day that she looks forward to so I don't want to take that out of her life so I need to figure out how I'm gonna balance the two and not overtrain myself and whether that means more rest days for the dog or just like shorter walks um, we usually shorten it up in the winter anyways so some days I just like to kind of like take my time and get out here but the downfall to that is that there's more traffic outside and I don't really like that I like quiet uh, when I run so I'm gonna anyways working things out the first week you remember what you do like you remember what you don't like what works and what doesn't work and uh, I find that when I'm training with the dog I get frustrated if like I'm halfway through the the running part and not on the walking part and and she wants to stop I don't want to have those feelings with my dog <laughs> uh, so it's you know I'm five years older than the last time we trained and so is she and I need to respect that and I want her to live a long long life she's 12 now anyways I digress off I go So I'm going on my first solo run. It's dark, I have my reflective gear. I'm testing out my shoes for the first time. So my dog is at home waiting for me to come back and get her. And I'm gonna do my run first and then I will walk her because she has demonstrated that um, it's not gonna be an easy feat to train with her at this point. And I really have to start training for um, you know my stamina so it was kind of weird leaving her at home and I just drove to a more flatter area and then I'm going to run home and then I'm going to walk her back to the car <laughs> that works wish me luck it's starting to get dark out I mean light out oh my gosh it's early okay I think I parked a little too far this time tomorrow I will park a little closer not tomorrow the next day I run I'll park a little closer and uh, that'll probably be better but anyways it was the first day that I recorded my mileage and my time and I'm pleasantly pleased and uh, shoes are awesome shoes are I I'm I'm super pleased but I think I need some socks um, because the socks that I'm wearing are for my cross trainers at the gym and they're not they're slipping in my running shoes so <sighs> yeah it's been a while since I wore running shoes so oh the troubles how was that she gets a walk and a car ride in the same day that in the same like 30 minutes that is like epic to her privacy please omg taking a bath i don't like to take baths because i feel that they take a long time so <laughs> i need the magnesium i need the epsom salts my calves are sore my body is feeling sore and so i'm going to treat myself to a bath i'm gonna sit here probably listen to a podcast so anyways after this jam jams tea 
and night nights. A little bit more daylight today and I'm going for my run. I'm gonna warm up a little bit more and it's raining. Yeah. I like training in the rain. I like training in all weather because you never know what it's gonna be like on race day. So I'm just grateful that it's wet and not snow. <laughs> Things I could have done better this week in my first week of training. You just get to see it because you followed me on Snap. So, number one, don't do weighted calf raises the same week you are starting a new program. Hello, dumb. Mistake number one. Mistake number two, I got to leave my ego at the door. There is no room for ego in training when you're running. So, next week, I will only be doing flat surfaces. I thought, you know, it would be such a great idea to walk my dog back to the car. And sure, it was. And maybe it might be practical a little later in the game. But I live around hills. Hills activate the calves. My calves are like...